Okay, we're back with the second video. This will be our coloring of our tree frog. And um, hopefully you got your tree frog all drawn in there. The first thing we usually do is outline. So I'm using just a thin Sharpie. This is an extra fine point. If you just have a black pen that you want to use, um, or even a black, um, dark black pencil or black um, marker that's not too fat. I do like to make sure I get that white sparkle in the eye. So I don't want to color that. That's this inner oval that you see here. It's inside the black part of my um, pupil of my eye but I want to leave a highlight there. It helps to give a realistic look to our tree frog with these big red eyes. This is actually called a red-eyed tree frog. So we want to make sure we get those red bulging eyes in there. This is sort of the eyebrow part of the head. So the eyes really bulge out. Our tree frog's mouth is slightly open. And then we don't want to forget these big, round, red, sticky fingers that are on our tree frog. So I'm just going to put in a simple line for the edge of that leaf. shorten this a little bit so I can just kind of see a little of this blue leg here peeking out. And then with my eraser I want to erase just any of the lines I change that I don't want. Um, there's those little circles that I put in for the toes that I'm erasing just to have a clean slate. Um, so the tree frog has a green body with a white belly and then they have an orange or red um, eyes and their toes. They have a little blue stripe on the side of their body. So you want to notice that the blue is just a little bit on the arm here so it's kind of the top of the arm. And then there's a little bit of blue showing on the sides of the body. Um, this tree frog's hidden in the leaves, but if you looked at a tree frog stretched out, they have kind of blue stripes on the sides of their bodies. Um, the rear legs, those big long black legs that help them jump are usually blue as well and we can only see this little part of the blue leg here so this is actually his back leg but we want to make sure we don't do the whole arm blue and um, the whole side because it's really just a stripe of blue there um, I did my blue first the green is really the whole top of the head so all of this above the mouth is going to be this light green. The tops of the eyes that are these big bulging um, kind of eyebrows. That's all green. The whole top of the face is green. And you'll notice there's a white belly on our tree frog. So everything below the mouth is going to stay white. Um, I also want to get a little bit of the green on the top of this arm. You'll see that it's not the whole arm. If you do the whole arm green, it's okay because you could put the orange or the red over it. So if you made a mistake and you did some green on the entire arm, it's okay, because you can always add some red. There's even a little green over here on the side. 
And you'll see I left a little bit of white here between the green and the blue. You can have the green and the blue touch as well. Um, so I'm going to go in and do my orange. If you have red instead of orange, red also works here. Um, using orange, I can also use my red as a little bit of a shadow. So I'm starting with the lighter color first. The orange is lighter. And you see I'm leaving that white circle in the center of the eye. That's the little sparkle in the eye. I don't want to go over that teeny little circle that's here. I want to leave that to be a white highlight in the eye. So these three sticky fingers are really bright red color, orangey red color. If you have red also, and you did your orange first, it's the lighter color, you can add some red into the eye. It'll help the eye to look really rounded. You don't have to add this red. I'm just adding some red around the edge, a little underneath. I can add some red underneath sort of the bottom part of each finger and it helps it to look a little bit rounder. And then you'll notice that our frog's white belly has a bit of a shadow on it. So if you have a gray, a light gray marker, you can add just a little bit of a shadow here. So I added a little shadow so that it looks like my frog is behind this leaf here. And then if you have them, pastels are a great thing to use for these big background areas. So I'll show you this version I did earlier that has the leaves in pastel. So I put the pastel all over the leaves and I can blend my pastels. So my pastels are really easy to blend and get a nice overall green leafy color. And then to get these lines in the leaves that you see here, so in our reference drawing there's lines, I just took my eraser and I erased in some of those veins of the leaves. And there's my tree frog. So I hope you enjoyed drawing the tree frog and we'll do another live class next week and I'll let you guys know and we'll have a good time drawing something new next week. Thank you.